Welcome to Kanila Hat. Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark in the house. Over here on my left side, we got our homegirl, Ingrid. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling great. Awesome. Over here on my right side, we got our homeboy, King James. <laughs> I'm what feeling do? good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> like always say. Not uh, really, but okay. All right, let's get it started, James. What do we got for today? Uh, today's NBA fun fact, it's Zion Williamson and John Morant. Zion Williamson and John Morant, they were teammates back in their high school days in the AAU for South Carolina Hornets. And back in the day, John Morant was actually a fourth option in that team. It was Devontae Schuler who was the best player, and Zion Williamson was only a freshman. And nowadays, they're one of the rookies, best rookies. And who do you guys think is like, have a better future, Zion or Ja? Whew. Well, we both know it's going to be a rookie of the year is Ja. Yeah, that's, sure. that's yeah. one's given because but if you were to take now, like. If you're going to invest in a player, who would it be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm more of like, this, in terms of how complete of a player already is Ja, I would take him just because of the fact that he already has kind of a more complete game. And he's someone that you can actually build players around. It's easier to build around him as opposed to I, a player like Zion. Even as a rookie, he yeah. managed to build that team around him. Yeah. Right? So um, the way I see it for Zion is just that um, I can see some like long-term investment with him if I was like to put him on a team for me. But I just... His belt really scares me. It just screams injury prone. Mm, I see. No, yeah. just, I think it's just the way he just plays the game too. I guess so. it's just it's too explosive for me like, though. It's just yeah. too aggressive. Yeah. More so like most I've seen is like so much at risk for mm -hmm. the way that yeah. he plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, John Moran, they're winning right now. So yeah. the team is really good. And this guy, every time he jumps, you don't know if he he's going to pass it. He wants yeah. to just like <laughs> take you down. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's the crazy, way that yeah. he fed Kevin Love that time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think, uh, I'm not just thinking about their game. I'm thinking about the team wise too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Zion, they have a lot of draft picks. They, you know, with um, Zion, Lonzo Ball is perfect for him. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Brandon Ingram because Brandon Ingram is kind of like, he wants the ball on, on his hands. Mm -hmm. So that could mess up his game. But with this draft pick, you know, Jackson Hayes is only 19. Zion's only 19. Yeah. Nikhil Alexander is only Great. around 8, 19 or 20. And props him for being Canadian too. Yeah, so. he's Canadian. <laughs> it's crazy. And then they have like three draft picks. That's crazy. So when I, if the team is building around him, it, they have a bright future when it comes to the team wise and Zion. Could it could help out Zion. Yeah. But with Ja, they don't, they still have something. At first, I thought like maybe. Oh, Zion would be kind of the more intriguing player, exciting player, just because of the fact that he feels he would fill seats. People would actually want to want to see him play. Yeah. But I'm starting to think Jaws on the same level in terms of yep. excitement. I didn't know he had that kind of you know dog mentality of just wanted to kill anybody that's on his way. Like he's willing to even talk back to Kyrie. Yeah, exactly. like in other games you've seen that too, yeah, right? Yeah. So I like, just feel like. He is that, he has that, like what you said, dog mentality. Yeah. He wants to play alpha for his team and everything right. too, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Since he was like a high school. <laughs> so like underdog becomes top yeah. dog. Yeah. Think of that story, especially now that he's in the NBA, right? Mm -hmm. So. Well, speaking of the top dogs in the NBA, what about the all-star yeah. starters that's just been named? I mean, let's start with the West. Like, how do you guys feel about the starters in the West? We got what? It's Maybe LeBron, Davis, uh, Kawhi, Doncic, and Harden. Pretty stacked. I mean, I can. You can already see it slapping the East, if anything. If yeah. like we were doing an East versus West. Yeah. So, of all that players, like, did they get it right? Did the did the uh, did the fans voted the right players to be in there? Is there anyone we're missing, or I is that like that's right. a pretty? <laughs> that's I feel like, like, they, I, the most legit, I feel like, like they got yeah, the West them. right for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. If we look at the East. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, it's, like, what are how you guys feel about Luca like making that first his first all star yeah, a starter his first all star yeah. appearance as a starter in his second year I feel that's well deserved for him just the yeah. way that he's been carrying his team and everything and what he's been showing for breaking right? records I mean, yeah Mr Triple Double yeah. too as well yeah. so mm -hmm. he's breaking At age twenty which yes. is crazy it's still amazing it still yeah. amazes me mm -hmm. so we didn't miss any players like Dame anyone in Denver Nuggets like Jokic Yo they probably gonna be reserved. Right, so I mean, yeah, you can give them. Devin Booker is probably going to be reserved too. Yeah, yeah, you see them on the reserves, but like, 
I see Luca starting more as compared to those guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't see Dame being there because their record is not really good. No, it's not there. Mm -hmm. Like they, they, he played well, but that team is, you know, it's not there yet. It's, there it's yet. like not even in top eight. So. Everyone talked about like Dame ship on his shoulder for what yeah. happened to him like post seasons. These pat like from the past post seasons, mm -hmm. but I just feel like with this team now, it's just like I feel like it's kind of falling off a little bit now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. we'll see. We'll see. What about um, on the <clears throat> in the East? So what do we got in the East? Like we got what? Mr. Trey Young, Trey. our boy Pascal Ooh. Siakam, his boy Joel Embiid, <laughs> my name is Joel Kemba Embiid. Walker, <laughs> and Giannis, Mr. Ooh. Greek Freak. So how do you guys feel about that? That's um, bro. You said Kemba. No. Yeah. You said Kyle Lowry. Maybe Kyle Lowry should be in there. So I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking Kyle, but yeah. then now that I look at but it, but if you think numbers. about it, yeah, they, yeah, Kemba's having a great, yeah, like, but quiet, I think great season for yeah. Boston. That's winning. why. It's because yeah. like now that Kemba's with Boston, it's just a huge. I'm not gonna say it's a huge hype. He's living up to the hype for it. Yeah. So like he is showing more as to how Kyrie was when he was in Boston. So like he has more to show forth with Boston. Everything. It's better. He has, he's just, he just molds, he just melds with, with that team better, better than anything. Than so, yeah. um, I think the only thing about it with Kemba is that he's a little bit lower on the assist and the rebounds as compared to Lowry. Mm -hmm. But if everything else, like Kemba's, like, I think, mm -hmm. one up him. I think him. they factored in the, the record yeah. and For how sure. important the player is also on the yeah. team. Well, Kyle Lowry kind of like played well mm -hmm. with all those injuries. Yeah. yeah. It's, there's I, a case for Kyle There's a case, too. Case, yeah. I think I would have rather have Lowry mm -hmm. in there. Are you biased, with, though, because it's a Raptors fan? I'm just saying. No, no, <laughs> no, that's why I'm saying Lowry. Because like there's some bias like, for me, but yeah, yeah, like if I look at it, I'd rather have La if I were to choose. Like, I, yeah, Kemba's well deserved too. Yeah. In terms of if I had to choose between Pascal and La Kyle, just because of what Kyle did to carry yeah. us throughout. I mean, Pascal missed 11 games, right? Yeah. So Lowry was the one that stepped out those in those 11 games, and he's been consistent too, even when Pascal was there. So I felt like if I had to choose an All Star for our team one person to, to start. It'd be Lowry. It'll be Lowry. And then I, I don't yeah. mind Siakam being a reserve just because of the fact that Lowry was the one that really took us and lead, led us to what we are right now, even though we missed a lot of players like Van Fleet, Norman, Gasol, and, and Siakam, right? Yeah. I think it's like, because this is all based on fan votes, mm -hmm. mind you, this is also like going to be the U.S. people voting. So like they want to see more of like what, like what Pascal Siakam's raw ability is, whether yeah. as like with Lowry, it has a more of that veteran mm -hmm. kind of he's play. Made it, you know, this you is know he's Pascal's made it. First. Like, yeah. this is his first. Like, yeah, exactly. you know, we we'll, we want to see, like, this kid show up in the All-Stars. Like, yeah. we've seen Lowry do it so many times, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just feel like it's time, I guess it's the new generation to shine kind of thing. So that's yeah. the way I see it. Yeah. For me, like, it's... Trey Young, like, he's, a, like, a great Amazing. athlete. Everything yeah. is I there. I think he's like, just all stats. Like, it's just, it. yeah, straight stats. up, it, the team is not doing well. The team's know? trash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that team. Stats. I love Trey Young. He can yeah. play. He can ball. Yeah. Is that the reason, one of the reasons if you're a bad team, a lot of plays go around you. Mm -hmm. They make you, they to force you to, to you. score. They force yeah. you to make assists. He's a shoot first point guard. Yeah, right? he's going to so. be a starter someday. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it's the right time is right now. Yeah, I, I think, think Jimmy Butler should be in there. Yeah, it's a bit biased just because he's yeah. putting godly numbers. But you're yeah. right. Someone yeah. from Miami should have been a starter. Yeah. But it's just that they more of a team built. Uh, uh, they're more of a team player kind of built team. Yeah. Right. Because Bam, I mean, you're gonna make gonna make a case for Bam yeah, too. He can make it. Right. Yeah, I was thinking so. of like. Bam out of bio, yeah. not because I have him on fantasy, so I'm watching him heavily. <laughs> so that's just yeah. the way I see him. Just like, how come he's not even gonna start? Yeah. Man, I see what he's averaging yeah. every game. Underdogs, yeah. Exactly. But right? I think they can, well, two Underrated of them at least underdogs, make, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Two, at least two of them should have a reserve role. Oh, for least. sure. So we'll find Anything. out that next week, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's all we have, guys, for What's Up in the NBA. But when we come back, all about the Raptors.